Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for coming back for another video. Today I'm doing another vlog. I'm trying to get back into the routine of vlogging again because I know you guys love these types of videos. So I'm going to keep doing them and more videos in general. I know you guys are like, where is Jessica? What's going on? Is something bad happening? And no, nothing bad is happening. I'm just doing a lot of behind the scenes work, things that you guys will eventually see and it's time consuming. So that's where i've been a portion of this video is sponsored by the motley fool i'll get into that when i'm making my breakfast i already filmed that part but i'll include that right after this part but yeah i did want to chat with you guys for a second about the q a i did on instagram like two weeks ago the ask me something i still have all of those questions and i will be filming that video this weekend for you guys i know another q a it's been like six or seven months but y'all know i don't really like doing q a's but it's been almost four years and you guys barely know anything about me and i have a lot of new subscribers and followers so i'll definitely get that video out for you guys soon oh it is so dark in here today it's raining it's like going sunny and then dark so yeah definitely summer is coming in here in florida it's gonna rain every single day but i'm gonna get some stuff done around the house i guess i want to clean my makeup brushes i was planning on going to walgreens or try and go to target but it's raining so and then i have to bring the kids with me it's just a whole mission so i don't know we'll see what happens maybe i'll make this a two-day vlog because i feel like today's not going to be that exciting what was that oh that's recycling i forgot to put my recycling out typical Never up, never down, never Like a theme in a song, clever Feeling high, feeling low at the same time Feel so right, then I'm wrong, hoping I'll be fine But I get up, I always do I never think, I always do Never thought I would probably not feeling well but then again their dad took them to the pool and he fell asleep right after like in the afternoon and then woke up at three in the morning and then yesterday when he came back home he fell asleep really early like around seven and then woke up no not seven he fell asleep at like five and then woke up around five in the morning and he just was on his ipad and played with toys until me and sultan got up sultan was supposed to go to school today and my alarm was not on so mom failed but 
she played hooky for today. So yeah, since he was up super early this morning, he took a little nap and now he's kind of cranky. So they're just hanging out in my room. I'm gonna eat something now because I'm hungry. I was hungry earlier, but I was trying to get that video up. I'm trying to make sure you guys, oh, the flowers are covering. Yeah, my kids, I probably shouldn't say that. Now that my comments are back open, let me not say things like that. Yeah, I was gonna eat earlier, but I was working on that video. So now I'm gonna have the hard boiled eggs that you guys saw me make earlier this morning. I'm having two breakfasts. Um, I'm having two breakfasts and then later breakfasts, is that a word? Anyway, I'm having breakfast for a second time and later I'll have lunch. I don't know what to make. I feel like having tuna for some reason. Is there a fly in here? It's that plant, it's the orchid. I show you guys the orchid, it's still alive. She's thriving. So yeah, you guys saw in the, not the last vlog, the one before that, that I repotted it and I love it, so cute. These flowers I bought for the background for a campaign that I was shooting. And then these over here, I'm surprised these are still alive too. Oh, they're wilting a little bit, but I bought these for um, girls night when my sister and my niece and her friend came. So yeah, anyway. Oh, girl, they're still in the pot. I'm just gonna do a little quick meal for myself and tidy up. This portion of my video is sponsored by The Motley Fool. The Motley Fool Stock Advisor is a subscription stock picking service where members gain access to their library of expert stock recommendations, which are carefully aimed at multiplying your net worth. Members also receive new stock picks every month from legendary investors. I like that Motley Fool gives you guidance and things to look out for when investing. I've learned how money has changed as we know it. There is so much changing and this has definitely kept me updated. I've always wanted to invest but didn't know where to start. I also didn't want to get involved in anything too risky, so I like that this tool has so much information, you can always use it as a reference. Stock Advisor recommends two brand new stocks to its members each month sent directly to their inbox. And why should you trust the picks from the team at Stock Advisor? While their average stock pick has returned over 500% as of April 30th, 2021, that's beating the market by almost five times. You're only one step away from joining the Motley Fool investing community and taking the first step to supercharging your portfolio, visit www.fool.com slash Jessica Tall to access a special offer for new members to receive 50% off the Motley Fool's top stock picking service and start the journey to hopefully living smarter, happier, and richer. Thanks again to Motley Fool for sponsoring this portion of my video. So this is what I'm having. My bagel got a little bit burned, but it's just a blueberry bagel with some cream cheese, two hard boiled eggs, a tangerine, and bubbly. I like this, but if you don't already like sparkling water, you will not like this. Trust me. A lot of people have reached out to me saying this is disgusting. It's not sweet. It's just watered, watered. It's just water flavored like the fruit. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna eat and I'll be back later. We're in my bathroom now. Like I said earlier, I'm going to wash my makeup brushes and my countertop and the sinks are kind of actually really dirty. 
So I'll probably clean those too, but off camera. These are my makeup brushes and my sponges. I clean these every day. This one I haven't cleaned in a while and haven't been using because it's, um, it won't focus. It's not focusing, but there's little dents in it. So I think I'm just gonna throw that one away. So this is the one that I'm using. Ruby took my other one. I usually get three. A lot of you guys have been asking to see my closet. This is what my closet looks like. The vacuum doesn't belong in here, obviously, but I vacuumed my closet the other day. My shoes, some of my handbags, and I need to switch out from fall and winter to spring and summer. I have like some stuff here that you guys saw in the hall last week to hang up and get rid of all these sweaters because it's unnecessary and my many black dresses here. Some of these I haven't even worn yet, but I doubt I'm going to wear them anytime soon. So I can't wait to fill this up with my spring stuff. I still have boxes in here full of clothes and spring clothing that I need to go through. Some dresses over here, my robes, and some jackets. These shorts, and yeah, it's not really organized. It's just the way that it is. There's nothing really special to see in here. Oh, and my boxes, and just like... That's it. I love this closet, though. I sometimes hang out in here and just chill. I got some tags on the floor from what I was wearing earlier. But yeah, sometimes I hang out in here. Like, if I'm going to FaceTime one of my friends late at night or something like that, I come in here and chill. It's actually really nice. I come in here with my laptop and a glass of wine, and I don't know. I just like being in small places. <laughs> Are you guys like that? Anyway, let me start cleaning my makeup brushes and sponges. I'm probably not going to film the whole thing because I just saw I have half battery on this one. So, yeah. There was a piece of hair on that. If you have not washed your makeup brushes, go ahead and do that now. Also, I'm going to show you guys my skincare that I do at night because I get a lot of questions about my skin and like how I cleared my skin up. Like you guys know, I, or did I tell you guys? Yeah, I told you guys that I went to the dermatologist because I was having a lot of acne. In my opinion, a lot of acne. I've never had acne in my entire life. So turning, did I just really say that on camera? Did I just say my age on camera? I'm editing that part out. Yeah, but after I became a little bit more mature, I started getting breakouts and a lot of them and they wouldn't go away at all for a year and then they started getting worse and then I started getting facials. That was kind of helping, but after a while I woke up one day and looked at my skin and was like, I need to go to the dermatologist. And this was, I think in December, I finally said, yeah, it was end of December almost that I decided to go to the, to the uh, dermatologist and get my skin treated. And now my skin looks amazing. I went back last week or two weeks ago and when I took my mask off he was like your skin looks amazing and I'm like I agree <laughs> it looks so good but yeah um let me stop talking I'm just like talking and talking and talking I'm gonna do this come back later and chat with you guys Done anyways. Mm, 
let me make sure there's no personal information on my computer like last time. Anyways, so I'm at my office, I'm at my office, I'm in my office at my desk editing the pictures that I took this morning for a campaign and I'm starving. I'm about to order some food. I need to take these jeans off. They're so tight. I actually never wore these jeans, but I bought them before when um, I was skinnier and I'm still skinny, obviously, but these are too skinny for me. <laughs> There's orbs flying everywhere because of the um, lint. Anyway, I'm starving. I'm going to order some food. I really want sushi, but I don't want that to be the first thing that I eat for the day, <laughs> even though I don't mind. I have a haul for you guys. I'm going to show you what I got from Abercrombie and also Target. I also got a chair for my room that I'm going to build, hopefully build. Yeah, I'll try and build that today. Do I have anything else to do today? Yeah, I have to make some phone calls. Hold on a minute. Oh, it didn't pop up on the computer, but it might pop up here in a second. Let me just turn that this way. Completely forgot what I was talking about, and I'm pretty sure while I'm editing this, I'm going to be like, that's what you were talking about. But I forgot. That text message kind of threw me off. Oh, that's what I was saying. I tried to make some appointments this morning because I have a dermatologist appointment next week on uh, Tuesday, May 25th. And it's for a chemical peel. It's for a chemical peel, but I have interviews the next day or the day after. So I'm trying to like figure out how am I going to work that out because I'm definitely going to be peeling. I'm definitely going to be peeling with this chemical peel. The one that I did at uh, Hand in Stone with my esthetician, I didn't peel very much, but this one, my doctor told me like you are definitely going to be peeling. There's going to be downtime. So I'm going to be looking crazy. So I'm going to start with Target. I just got some uh, plain shirts. I don't have any right now. They were all worn out, so I got this cute yellow one and a mint colored one. I always get these type of shirts from Target just to wear in videos when I do cleaning videos or like vlogs like this. This pink one, I probably had some of these last year. I have some more coming in. I have like maybe four or five more and just tank tops and t-shirts that I can wear basic stuff. And next I got this beach bag. You guys know Candace. I feel like I always mention Candace when I do hauls because she just always knows what's good and where to get stuff so let me remove actually no i'll keep the cardboard in so it keeps its shape i got this adorable beach bag it's really big it has a flat bottom i can fit a bunch of stuff in here i like that i went with this color because i feel like it could go with everything and it's like see-through so cute i think it was around 30 dollars maybe 35 dollars not bad for a beach bag the ones that I was looking at on Amazon were really expensive for some reason. I got this. TikTok made me buy this. I hope it's focusing. It's called Lumify. It's supposed to whiten your eyes and it lasts for up to eight hours. Works in one minute, so we'll see. Because after I do my makeup, my eyes get red. And sometimes my eyes get red because I'm editing for so long looking at my computer or on my phone. So I got these. I tried the other ones. They're spicy. What are they called? I've tried Visine, I've tried those, and now I'm going to try this because I feel like after a while, like after an hour, my eyes start to get pink again. So, we'll see. I'm going to try it right now, actually. I have a lot going on, you guys. Like, a lot. Did I grab something that I already hauled last time? I did. Still haven't put it away. But yeah, I have a lot going on. I wish I could tell you guys more, but right now I just can't. Um... I'm a little bit stressed out and overwhelmed. Hopefully I'll get a break here soon. I have Victoria's Secret and Abercrombie here. Um, yeah, you guys, I have so much work that I'm doing right now. I'm working on two campaigns, plus a bunch of other brand deals that I'm working on, and it's just a lot. I am tired. I haven't been doing Instagram. I haven't been doing YouTube. Like, I have a YouTube video going up tomorrow and Friday, thank goodness. They've been done for a while. That's the thing when you work with brands. Sometimes it takes a while to get the content out. And then since it's coming back to me to make edits, I don't have time to edit my own content for my channel. It's a lot. And I'm not complaining. I absolutely love what I do. But I just feel bad when I'm MIA. So I would say that since I still have this video here and it's been like over a week. But yeah, there's a little end of the vlog update because after this, I'm going to end the vlog. Yeah, so... Oh, the ones that I got originally, these are some satin pajamas from Victoria's Secret. They're the long sleeves and pants because after I do my nighttime routine with all my oils and my lotions, I like to sleep in satin because it keeps the because it keeps the moisture in and I get cold at night. 
so I got those ones and I actually invested in a pair of silk pajamas yes girl they're pink with black polka dots but they're in the dryer right now let me put that on silent they're in the dryer right now because I've been wearing them like almost every single night <laughs> I like them so much but these ones are satin so they're a little bit less expensive and then I got this pair just a cute pink one with some hearts and then this is a robe I already wore the nightie that goes with this but that's what it looks like here's the other robe that I got I like this one so much it has ruffle sleeves and ruffles at the bottom it's a short sleeve one short sleeve yeah it's like a kimono short sleeve one i have the matching pjs for this little shorts the cami i like matching things i like very girly feminine things i wish i had more space so i can show you guys how cute these jeans are we're moving on to abercrombie now look at these they're like that fitted but baggy look high-waisted they're called the 90 straight ultra high rise from Abercrombie and you guys already know I shop their website when I have a coupon <laughs> I mean I shop when I don't also their stuff is just so cute and now I got Candace hooked on it she loves Abercrombie now why does this smell like mothballs that is so weird I wonder if they're putting mothballs like it has like a hint of mothballs it's really strange anyway super cute jeans I will definitely put those on for you guys on Instagram so you guys can see when I post on Instagram again <laughs> I got this cute top, this one, it's just a strappy cami, crop top, crop top, crop top cami. And then I got this bodysuit in that pretty color. I love that marigold color. This one, smocked at the back. And I got the matching skirt to go with this, but it won't be here until I think next week. This one, that one. And these linen shorts, I tried them on last night and they're so flattering, so comfortable and soft. Oh my goodness, I got the matching top that looks just like this one. Abercrombie has a lot of linen sets right now that are adorable. And then lastly, I got this Sage Seamless Bodysuit. So yeah, that's it for my haul. Now I'm going to... Oh wait... I was going to build a chair in this vlog, but that's going to make this vlog really, really long because I still have to edit this part and get it up tomorrow. So if you're watching this video when it goes live, this is me the day before, yesterday. <laughs> that is it for this video. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll talk to you all in the next one.